Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Mag Burton, who is the Outreach Coordinator for The Caring Place, which is a center for abused women and children located in Lebanon, serving Marion, Washington, Nelson, and Taylor counties. And The Caring Place has an event coming up on April 6th and 7th at Marion County High School and Lebanon Middle School called Spring Into Action Against Domestic Violence. Right. Right. And it's going to be a basketball tournament for grades four and five. And Ms. Burton here is going to tell us about how you can get your child involved in this, right? Okay, all you have to do is just go to your school. They have all the paperwork that you need. We ask that everyone in grades four and five, they, the tournament is to make sure that the children that are in our shelter has a chance to have camp fees, mm -hmm. uh, have a chance to join any of the extracurricular activities that are actually offered throughout the community. Okay. The, uh, they'll have a chance to get, like, uh, if they need shoes, Mm -hmm. uh, school supplies, anything mm -hmm. that the other children have during the year, they'll have a chance to get it. Because it is a fundraiser for the Caring Place and an opportunity to raise some of those funds to help with the kids who are there, right? right? It's children helping children. That's, that's our, fantastic. that's what our goal is really, children helping children. And this is the third year for the event. You may have recalled it in past years and it's been in March, but this year they put, decided to put it in April. Right. Because Ms. Burton here is going to be busy the weekend. They would normally yes, have are. it, right? <laughs> yes, With your daughter are. playing for the Lady Knights in the yes. state tournament that weekend. So it's going to be the actual weekend of the event this year will be April 6th and 7th. And again, it'll be at the high school and the middle school. And the fees for the cost per child is only $10, $10 right? $10, and that's all they'll have to pay. That is it. There is a $5 admission fee. On the day of. The, mm -hmm. Right, and then we'll have concession stands. Okay. It's $5, and every child will be allowed to play. Okay, fantastic. Right. And it's for boys and girls. Boys and girls, permission slips will be at the school. Okay, now, if somebody hasn't gotten the permission slip or they lost it or something, can, when's the deadline for them to actually register a child? March 15th, which is next Friday. Okay. Uh, that's the latest that we can have it, so that we can have about the 29th to get the teams together mm -hmm. and to order the t-shirts. Shirts and stuff, okay. And again, it's only $10, and there will be a tournament or there will be trophies and people oh yeah named first and second and third place and we're also going to have MVP of the tournament and we are asking anyone that is interested in being a coach to call us during normal business hours okay and that phone number is 270-692-9300 and you can get some more information from the caring place there as well is your daughter going to be involved in helping coach some of these kids she's wanting to be a coach really bad <laughs> <laughs> So if anybody else out there wants to be a coach, please give us a call. We can <laughs> use all the coaches that we can get. Right. And anybody that wants to volunteer to do anything like that, mm -hmm. wants to be a coach, uh, to work in, in the concession stands, to do anything and everything, we're really lucky because our community does stand behind us. Yeah, you know, and we have improved it from last year. We really have. You know, last year we had a few problems with, you know, we only had two or three refs. This year, we've got a lot more people that have volunteered okay. to ref. Good. We've had people volunteer to call out the games, you know. So okay. it's going to be like a real big-time basketball game. So it's going to be really great. And again, it's going to be April 6th and 7th. So that is a Saturday and a Sunday, right. correct? And what are the times going to be? Or have they been, will they be determined once you know yeah. how many teams there are? We'll have to find okay. that out. Okay. So well, we'll keep you up to date on that. We'll let you know when that is determined. But it will be the weekend of April 6th and 7th. And it's for grades four and five. And again, it is a fundraiser for The Caring Place. And if somebody's not familiar with The Caring Place, tell us a little bit about the facility. The Caring Place is a domestic violence shelter for women and children. Um, some of the services that we do have mm -hmm. is uh, food, shelter, counseling. We do group and individual counseling. We do uh, advocacy, budgeting. Um, we do, uh, for children, we have like the children at risk programs. So children that have parents that have uh, alcohol, drug abuse, okay. we assist them with that. We are trying to start a new program, and I did send out information to some of the high schools. It's called Into the Light. It's for young men. Um, this program is about uh, guys that are trying to work with their anger management problems. Okay. So we're doing that if they have problems with drugs or alcohol, dating relationships, we're trying to help them learn to deal with problems that are occurring in their life. A lot of times they think that a uh, domestic violence shelter is just for women. And the one that we have is, but we're trying to help young men before they become abusers. Because right. a lot of times, you know, in a home of abuse, 
it produces abusers. So we're right. trying to it's stop a prevention. That yeah. Yeah. It's so very that's, important. That's crisis intervention. That's our biggest thing. Great. And you know, just getting out the word that abuse is a crime. Okay. That's our biggest thing. So. And again, it is for Marion, Washington, Nelson, and Taylor counties. All right. four counties. The ladies and families are housed here, right in the facility that we have. So, um, and if you have a, you can give a call to the Caring Place at 270-692-9300 if you have further questions right. to learn about either this program or to learn about the Caring Place in general, or if you'd like to make a donation, I'm always happy to have that as well. Yes. Or mm -hmm. some of the educational programs. And also, that weekend, even if you don't have a child involved, you can still come and watch some basketball, but you can also learn, because you're going to be having some opportunities for oh education yeah. that weekend as well, right? Yes, indeed. We have plenty of brochures that we're going to give out. And like I said, anyone that has a family member, a friend, or you yourself are a victim, come talk to us, and if we can't help you, then we will d direct you in the right direction that you need to go to. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for sharing this information well, with thank us. thank you. And again, the deadline to register is March 15th, so you can contact your school in any of the four counties, and they can get you the sign-up form for your child, and it's for grades four and five, April 6th and 7th at Marion County High School and Lebanon Middle School. Call 270-692-9300 for more information about this tournament or just about the Caring Place. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right, I've been talking with Mag Burton, who is the Outreach Coordinator for the Caring Place. This is Gary White for Central Kentucky Television.